schoolmaster abroad. The steam yacht Argonaut was chartered from Mrs. Perron and Lunn by a body of public schoolmasters for the purposes of an educative visit to the Levant. Oh, isles, as Byron said, of Greece, for which the firm of Homer sang, especially that little piece interpreted by Mr. Lang, where the unblushing Sappho wrote the hymns we hardly like to quote. I cannot share his grave regret, who found your fame had been and gone. There seems to be a future yet for Tenedos and Marathon. Fresh glory gilds their deathless son, and this is due to Dr. Lunn. What though your harpers twang no more? What though your various lyres are dumb? See where by Surrey's sacred shore, bold Argonauts, the ushers come, and bring their maps, and some their wives, and at the vision, Greece revives. The Delphic oracles are off, but still the sight is always there. The fumes that made the Pythian cough still permeate the conscious air. Parnassus of the arduous grade may still be climbed with local aid. Lunching upon the self-same rock whence Xerxes viewed the red wine frith, they realise with vivid shock the teachings of the smaller smith. With bated breath they murmur, this is actually Salamis. They visit where Penelope nightly unwove the work of day, staving her suitors off till he, Ulysses, let the longbow play, and in his brave glass widow's breast forgot Calypso and the rest. In Crete, where Theseus first embraced his Ariadna, they explore, just now authentic authentically traced, the footprints of the Minotaur, and follow the, to the maze's source the thread of some profound discourse. That isle where Leto, sick with fright, so scandalised her mortal kin, where young Apollo, lord of light, commenced his progress as a twin. Fair Delos, they shall get to know, and Paros, where the marbles grow. Not theirs, the course of crude delight on which the common tourist wends. From faith they move, by way of sight, to knowledge, to knowledge meant for noble ends. Twill be amongst their purest joys to work it off upon the boys. One hears the travelled teacher call upon the upper fifth to note touching the Spartan counterwall, how great the law of Mr. Goat, and tell them, his are just the views I formed myself at Syracuse. When Jones is at a loss to show where certain islands ought to be, how well to whack him hard and low, and say, the pain is worse for me. To whom the Cyclades are quite familiar, like the Isle of Wight. And then the lecture after prep, the magic lantern's lurid slide. The speaker pictured on the step of some old shrine with no inside, or groping on his reverent knees. For Ulyssinian mysteries. Hellas defunct? Oh, say not so, when public schoolboys faint to hear the tales of antique love or woe brought home and rendered strangely clear. 
in instantaneous Kodak shots, secured by ushers on the spots.